Well, Chad's just caught that fish. Oh, come on. Keep still. Well, Chad's just caught that fish. Oh, for... yeah. I'm Brian College, and in my spare time, I fish Northwest UK waters in search of a double figure carp. Spending hours on the bankside, striving to get you the best fishing content. I'll bring you fishing with my family and with my friends and also with the mighty chat. Yeah, welcome to Aquatic College. Well, good morning, welcome to Aquatic College. My name is Bry, and today I am fishing with the mighty Chad and we are fishing on Partridge Lakes Complex and we're on Willow Lake today. Willow Lake? Willow Lake. So yeah, I'm fishing with the mighty Chad. The score is 8-6 to Chad. This is the final day and uh, winner takes all basically. So without further ado, I'll introduce you to the mighty Chad. Morning everybody. Morning. Right? Not got a mic today, so uh oh, well, I won't say anything then. No no speak. I'm going to have a good day today, all being well. Good. You're gonna catch? Yeah, good luck to you. Do you mean that, yeah? yeah. I mean that. Good right, luck. okay. Thanks, Chad. Yeah, good luck. Good luck, yeah, good oh yeah, good luck to yeah, you too. Very much. Good luck, Chad. <laughs> oh, I hope you catch more than me. Oh, he's had a knock. Oh no. So yeah, it's 8-6. Final day of the competition. Winner takes all. Willow's prolific for bites, so we're hoping we'll have uh, quite a few today. So stay tuned and wish me luck. It's 10 past 9 and I've just got a small little common carp which gives me one point. So the score is 8-7 to Chad. So I'm going to put it back now and hopefully the carp have woke up. Well Chad's using an illegal bait that wasn't agreed from the competition. Hey hang on a minute, you didn't mention anything about any bait. And he's caught a fish. Yeah. You can have it back long if you want. Oh, was that your bait, Carol? Ah, so he's using someone else's bait. Hey, hang on a minute. We right. don't know about anybody else's bait or what bait we're using. Right, so he's using an illegal bait from somebody else. <laughs> he has to make excuses up, doesn't he? You'd have to hold it up, I'll just see it in the net. Yeah. Very nice Chad. Thank you very much. So that makes that still eight seven. Nine seven. Nine seven. 
9-7. Well done, Chad. Thank you very much. Can I see this illegal bait you've been putting on? It's not a legal bait. How can no. it be legal bait? Did you bring it with you? In the... My beloved brought it for me. For me. Not for you. She did. <laughs> Love you. Oh, smarties. Let me have a look. What are those called? Shapers. Shapers? He sells them in there. Uh... Uh, never mind. In Lee Tackle and Bait? Yeah. Does he? Yeah. Oh, top quality, low, low prices. Top quality, low, low prices. Right. In, you know, in um, in Lee. Lee, Lee Bait and Tackle. Lee Crafty Bait Shop. Is it? Oh, yeah. I get all my 90% of my stuff I get from Lee Bait and Tackle. Right. You know, fair, fair prices as well. Fair, fair prices. What's the customer service like, Chad? Oh, brilliant. Is it? All the up in everywhere they can. Yeah. Wow. Lee Ch Tackle and Bait, check them out. Yeah, check them out. Are you putting two on there? Oh, yes. Oh wow, sneaky tactics. Right. Well done, Chad. Thank you very much. So I am casted here. And that's where I got the first fish this morning. And since then, it's been dead. No more bites. How are the poles not had any bites? I've not seen anybody down there have any bites. So yeah, it's a, uh, it's a bit slow. I can see fish. There's a bit of movement around here. And I've been firing pellets out. Yeah, really quiet. Guy down there might have one. Have a look and see what a fish looks like. Yeah. Well, it's a really nice lake. I've not fished Willow for years. But um, I did fish where that guy is with a pole. So I did fish there. I need to cast over to here. I fished with David Savage a couple of years ago and I had like 90 fish in a day. And, uh, today I'd take nine. Well, it's 10 past 11 and my rod's gone again and I've got this nice little common carp. It's only about three pounds, but it's another point. So that makes that nine eight to Chad, one fish in it. So I'm gonna put it back and get my rod straight back out again. Well, I get within one and then Chad is using normal pellets, not the illegal ones, but now he's <laughs> casting into Carol's swim. So he's fishing in someone else's peg with Aww. someone else's bait, but he's got another fish. I can't tell me to go off and go on there. Oh, it did go. It's alright. Always do what my wife says. Always do what my wife says. Always. Happy wife, happy life. That's what That's they it. say, isn't it? Oh, lucky to get that in. Does it come out in the net, yeah? Yeah. Well done, Chad. Another little fish. Another little carp. So that no makes 10-8. Ten eight. Ten eight. Yeah, well done, Chad. Thank you. So Chad's swim is this bit here, but he's casting over there. Because that's Carol's. Oh, that's Carol's and that, that's, what, that's what he does. It's like being at Moat House. <laughs> Well done, Chad. Thank you very much.
but it's half past 12 and my rod's gone and I've got this tiny common carp so it's only about a pound, pound and a half but it's another point so that makes that 10.9 to Chad with about three and a half hours left so no biting stuff let's see if I can catch some more normal service has resumed Chad's on Chad cam and he's caught a fish I think he might have been casted over to his own swim this time no he wasn't no right oh yeah it's a big fish hope it doesn't drop off Need for that. Well done, Chad. <laughs> was there any need for that? What? I was being like nice that. saying I hope it doesn't drop off. That's wishing me to have it drop off. Like no. Oh, it's lovely that one. Proper fish. Well. Oh, oh, Did it come out? Yeah. Lovely. No, it's all right. I can see it there. It's nice. Nice fish, that. So that's 11.9 now. Oh, no. Now I'm yeah, back but to... don't forget when I get one. When you get one, I normally get one straight after. When I get one, you normally get one. Yeah, straight true. So, 11.9. Well done, Chad. Thank you very much. And Chad's in again. Is this with the ground bait when you mixed in my white chocolate no. one? No, it's the brown sauce. Have you, oh, it's the brown sauce you've put on. That's an illegal substance, that in competitions, brown sauce. Are you going to sympathise? It's just like a wasp thing. No. It's a lovely one, you know that. You know, swearing, please, you're on YouTube. Well, it's a nice fish, that one. It's another two points. No, it's not two points this week. That's next week. It's I one point. It would, have would have been, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, next week we're having a point system. Well, that that could have been a three-pointer, that, it looks. No, it's not five, that. Is it not? No. We don't know, though. It's close. It's close. This is going to make it 12 9? 12? Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, 12 9. Okay. What time we finished the competition? 6 o'clock, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice fish. Oh, turn over for me. Very nice, that Chad. Thank you very much. 12 9. Only three hours left. Well, Chad caught that fish to make it 12.9, and I've replied with a small little, I think it's a ghost carp. Looks very metallic. Ghost carp to make it 12.10 with about an hour left. So I'm keeping within touch of him. I just need to catch a couple more quickly. Well, it's one hour to go, and Chad's in again on Chad Cam. Another carp. Another nice carp. Just can't catch up. I get within two. And he pulls it back. I just flicked your bait out. It just yep. spat it out into the water. Yeah. Nice that Chad. Thank you very much. Very nice. So what's that now? That's 13.10. 13.10. I think it's all over. Well done, Chad. And welcome to Chad Cam. Oh, no. I mean, yay, well done, Chad. <laughs> Another carp. So that means I only have to catch 12 in the last 25 minutes. Oops. So spat it out again. Come here. 
Is it the same fish? No, it's come out. How oh, was it? Yeah. Well done, Chad. Another nice fish. Thank you very much. So that makes that 1410. Yes. With. And all you need is a miracle. Well, that is it. It's four o'clock and the match is over. And the mighty Chad has beat me 6 4 for today and 14 10 overall. Okay, now we're on Chad Cam for the. Uh, for the winner of the uh, Mighty Chad competition. Over to you, Chad. It's been a joy fishing with you this month, my mate. I'm pretty you couldn't catch more. Mm. But that's how it goes with fishing. Yeah, that's how it goes with me every month. I enjoy our matches, but he's got an announcement to make later on. I've got an announcement yes, to make. You've got an announcement to make later Have I? on. Yeah, for next month. Oh. You know, so oh, for the new. Um, the new member. The new player, player three. The new member. Right. Yeah. The young lady in the background who's catching more than me today. Yes. Well, well done, Chad. Thank you very much, Chris. Yeah. And I hope you have a good time next month. Mm, well, I've been fully enjoyed it this month. Well, only because you won. No, even if I'd have lost, I'd have enjoyed it. You would have moaned though, wouldn't you? No. Right. Me moan, I never moan. Right. Nevermore. How's your uh, how's your sting? It's fine now. Still a bit sore, but it's fine. Okay. Well done, Chad. Thank you very much. We'll do the presentation at the start of next week. Next week. Yeah. I don't know for a lovely month of fishing. Maybe I've enjoyed it thoroughly. I think it's your one. Anyway. No, it's not because I'm one. I know what I'm doing and you don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sounds, sounds, sums up my fishing. Thanks, Chad. Nothing like a confidence builder. <laughs> oh, well done, mate. Che yeah, cheers. Oh, cheers, Chad. Nude. <laughs> All right. Abuse now. Thanks, Chad. <laughs> so I'm going to continue fishing because it's overtime as per usual and I need to try and catch a fish. So now I've got two rods out. I've got one in the margin there and then the one where I've been getting my fish, well, say getting my fish, all four of them, is over on this point here. So I've got a couple of hours with two rods now. Hopefully the bites switch on. They normally do later on fish swirling there already hopefully I'll get a couple more fish I just want to do well I'm into overtime and my right hand rod my new addition has gone off lost one and then I've got a nice little common. So the same stamp again, about two, two pounds. So I'm gonna put it back and hopefully that swim is gonna be more productive than what my other one was. So, yep, yeah, hoping for something bigger. Well, it's five past five, Chad has literally just gone. And as per usual, my rod's gone. And I've got this nice little common carp again. Same stamp, round about two pounds, but it's another fish. So that's six for today. All the same size, hoping for something bigger. This is on the right hand rod again. So it seems to be that side's island's better than the island that I'm on now. So I'm gonna chuck it back, show you where I'm casting and hopefully we'll get some more fish. Well, as I was filming that fish, my other rod's gone and I've got this nice, it looks like a ghost carp. Really nice, probably about three pounds, but look, look at the colors on that, really nice. Really nice ghost carp. So yeah, Chad leaves and I start catching fish. 
Standard. Well, it's 5.35 and I've got another small common. Same stamp yet again. Hopefully I want a mirror today. A nice mirror would be nice. So yeah. Cursive chat continues. It's been gone half an hour and I've had three fish. Which quarter to six. Another small common. Same stamp. Looks like the same fish. It's not. Well, it's another one. So that's four since Chad's gone. I'll put it back now and get a big one. Well, this is what I expected. Literally six o'clock. I've had a double run. So I've got a nice common carp. Same stamp, about two or three pounds. And I've had another common carp with a big tail. So same again, a couple of pounds, double run, six o'clock. I think that's either six or seven. I've had six in an hour. Still no big one, that tail is huge. So number seven, can you guess what carpet is? Yeah, it's another small common. So that's number seven and it's 10 past six. So, I'm not gonna catch a double am I? I'm not even gonna catch anything other than a small common. But let's see how many we can catch. So number eight isn't a small common carp, it's, oh yeah it is, I'm only joking. So that's number eight. A bit bigger than the other ones, but still about three pounds, but it's not a big double. Or a mirror carp, which is my favorite, or even a golden tench, which I really like. It's a small common carp. Oh, my other rod's going, so I'll see you in a bit. I can't remember whether there's number eight or number nine, but guess what it is? A little bit bigger, but it's another common carp. Just want something different.
Well, this is fish number 10. Can any of you guess what it is? No. It's worse. It's a bream. So when I said I didn't want to catch any more common carp, there's always an exception. Yuck. Well, as every fisherman knows, when you're packing your gear away, you leave your rods on your peg in the hope of one more bite. My rod's gone, and guess what I've caught? No, it's actually a mirror carp. So there's actually mirror carp in Willow, and I've caught one. It's my favorite type of fish. Much better than a common, definitely much better than a bream. And this is my last fish of the sessions. I think it's either the 10th or the 11th fish since Chad's gone. Uh, 15 for today so it's been really good not as good as what I expected but still at least I've not blanked so as always thanks for watching please like and subscribe if you'd like to leave any comments in the comment section I'll answer them all and I'll see you all soon a whole bar with my dad a rematch so thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon